Look, all that I'm saying is that anytime that I've ever called somebody a square, it's been an insult. So you guys know that I like to try a lot of different stuff for my live streams. I'm always changing settings around, changing overlays and themes and kind of seeing uh, what parts of certain things work and are gonna stay and what parts uh, need to be worked on just a little bit more. And so one of the most recent things that I've been working on is doing a circle for the webcam or you know really any kind of different shape other than a square. And so this way your live streams will look kind of like this, you know, where instead of just a regular boring square with some sort of overlay or webcam frame, you've got a circle and so there's not a ton of videos on YouTube about how to get this done but it's by no means a super complicated trick anybody can do this and so I'm gonna show you how to do this to make some of your live streams stand out just a little bit more so for this I'm actually gonna be using Streamlabs OBS but obviously the principles here can be applied to just about any uh, major streaming software, especially any of the other different varieties of OBS, whether you like, you know, the Stream Elements one or just regular, regular stock OBS, you know, this shouldn't be too hard to kind of see the relations here. But so as you can see, I've got a scene set up right here. Um, all that I have put into this scene is a random video of some Halo Reach gameplay. And ju that's just for some background because I wanted you to be able to see what's going on and kind of visualize this in a live stream instead of just a solid black background or, or some other sort of you know stationary wallpaper or something like that so just feel free to watch me uh, go ahead and get my ass handed to me here in Halo while I show you how to do this um, because I, I suck at Halo luckily I'm a little bit better at video editing and things of that nature than I am at uh, video games but anyway um, if you do want to see me suck at video games be sure to check out my twitch live stream link is in the description below I stream pretty regularly um, when I'm not doing this type of stuff or living my lifey life so anyway on to what we're gonna be doing here um, so once you've got your source and that's usually gonna be your gameplay at the bottom you know your capture card or your your application on your desktop that you're playing whatever you got that running in the background you're gonna want to obviously go ahead and get your webcam so we are gonna go to video capture device and let's see here we're gonna go ahead and add of course our webcam and we can name this whatever we want it does help if you spell it correctly so we'll go ahead and do that here we're gonna go ahead and add the webcam and as you guys can see I'm gonna go ahead and move this over so we can kind of watch how this works so we're gonna add the webcam for me I'm using the c922 pro from Logitech um, but again you know this is gonna apply to pretty much whatever you're gonna be using so I'm gonna show you guys one thing that might happen if you mess this up so um, right now uh, we're gonna leave the resolution by default right now it's in a square four by three aspect ratio and the reason why I'm gonna leave it like this you'll see it here in just a minute um, it's gonna actually cause a little bit of a hiccup but I wanted to show that to you guys in case you run into it just so you kind of know how to identify it and how to how to go ahead and work around that so we're gonna leave everything like this we've got our square webcam and we're gonna move it over here you know somewhere in the corner we're gonna make it a little smaller uh, boom you know we we are ready to live stream right now uh, false we have got lots of work to do boys and girls so we are gonna go ahead and add the first step to getting our uh, custom shape for the webcam and so with this um, I am going to attach a link to a file in the description below and basically this is gonna be an image and it is nothing more than just a solid black background with a shape in solid white and so again, this is nothing complicated, but basically this concept can be applied to whatever. I'm gonna link you guys to the one that I use because it's simple, it's just a perfect circle. Um, but if you wanna make it a star, a triangle, or whatever, then go for it. You know, use this same exact formula for it. But anyway, you're gonna wanna download that file, save it somewhere onto your computer, and go to your webcam. And then right click, and we're gonna go ahead and go to filters. And so right now, we don't have any filters applied to the webcam, of course. We're gonna go ahead and add a new filter and we're going to make that the image mask slash blend. So we're gonna add that filter to our webcam and then we're gonna leave it here on the first option that alpha mask parentheses color channel and then where it says path and we can browse to choose a file, we're gonna go ahead and select that file and this is the mess up that I was talking about just a little bit ago. So as you can see, we've left the color on the white. So basically, whatever color this is, that's gonna be the color that ends up staying. And basically, anything that's not that color is going to be taken out. 
So what we've got here, um, we're gonna leave the opacity at 100. Basically that's of course the transparency of the object that we're leaving in here. So now there are two ways to fix this. So if you are using a regular, maybe cheaper webcam that does not have any kind of widescreen recording capabilities, um, currently you may have to kind of deal with this right here, but the easiest workaround is to do stretch image discard image aspect ratio. And so that will actually go ahead and basically make the image stretch out to the shape of your webcam. So as long as they match up, if you, for example, only have a webcam that records in a square, like four by three aspect ratio, then you need to make a separate image mask that is also likewise a square or, you know, the similar aspect ratio. But that's kind of the, the, the concept. You're, you really don't need to match it exactly to the exact resolution that you're going to be putting your um, your webcam on you just need it to be kind of the same concept so that way there's not these extra lines but most of you guys I'm assuming this is not gonna be a problem you've probably got a webcam that records in at least some sort of widescreen capability I just wanted to go ahead and address this issue if anybody has any more questions about this you're running into this just let me know in the comments and I can go a little bit further but I don't want to waste a lot of time on this because I feel like most of you guys have got a widescreen webcam at this point of some kind so anyway what we're gonna do to fix that without making ourselves look like an egg, because I mean, I love eggs, but that's not what we're going for here. We're gonna go back to the webcam source and we're just gonna make absolutely sure that we have set um, a custom resolution if we need to, you know, just make sure that it is a widescreen resolution. So we're gonna just use uh, 1280 by 720. That's probably what most of you guys are using anyway. Um, you know, you should be able to do pretty much anything as long as it's widescreen, like I said. So anyway, now we don't have lines, we don't look like an egg, everything is good in the world. So, and we're in our circle. So even better. So we're like 70% of the way there. Just kind of resize this, tweak it to your liking, you know, put it in a certain location, the right size, and bam, now you've got a really cool looking circle webcam. But I, I didn't quite like this, you know, I just felt like I wanted something around this. And so there are certain plugins you can get for your different versions of OBS that can do like a drop shadow or a border or something like that. I'm not big on doing all that type of stuff. I, I like to um, do things that are maybe harder than just installing the plugin, but I, you know, I don't really like adding all that crap to my software personally. But hey, if that's not you, then go ahead, download the dang plugin that does drop shadows or whatever but if you want to just go ahead and knock this thing out right now pretty easy way to add a uh, border to it is to actually just add one more source here and we're going to make it an image and what we're going to go ahead and select for this image is that same file that we were using for our mask and you know again we're just keeping things nice and easy here don't have to download a bunch of files here um and this is something to at least get you up and going. If you wanna work on something really crazy after this and make yourself a really awesome personalized, you know, circle border overlay thing that's animated, then go for it. But this is just to kind of get you going here. So now we're gonna go ahead and move this image because it is now taken up the entire stream, um, stream screen. We're gonna move it down below the webcam and we're gonna want to go ahead and uh, add a filter to this image here. And so, gonna be a similar concept but not quite the same thing we're gonna want to instead of adding the image mask and blend we're going to want to add a color key to our uh, to our image over here and so we're gonna add that and then right now by default it's gonna select green as the color but we are gonna select custom color and we're gonna drag this down and make the custom color black and so now you can see we just have a perfect white circle here. So we're pretty much done here. You can play around with some of these settings here, the similarity and the smoothness to kind of make it a little less sharp, make it more sharp, whatever um, your liking is on that. But for the most part, we're just gonna go ahead and keep this as is, as long as that custom key color is solid black. Then we've got, a, um, we've got this set up. And I like to do this because I like to use the same image rather because now I know that this image is the exact same shape as my webcam. So for example, if I was doing a more complicated and hard to replicate shape like a, a star, you know, that's something that's a little bit less straightforward than just a perfect circle, you still wanna use that same image that you use for your mask so that way you can make sure it is exactly the same. 
So we're gonna go ahead and resize this to our liking. You can make it a little stylized. If you wanna do it kind of offset like that, go for it. If you wanna make it you know, perfectly centered below yourself, go for that. Do whatever you wanna do, whatever it is to your liking. And that's what I like about this is how easy it is to just customize it and tweak it. And so what you can also do with this is change the color of this border um, to kind of match your style, match the game that you're playing, whatever you wanna do. So. Um, to do that, we're gonna go to the image that we're using for the uh, for the underlying here for the border, and we're gonna go and add one more filter to it. And with that, we are gonna go ahead and add the color correction filter. And so, once you get here, um, now we can adjust what the color of this little border is gonna be. So. The easiest way to do that is to go down to the color here at the bottom and it's gonna be white by default. Now we're gonna move it over to red. And as you can see, it's updated here. And so now we've got like a really bright red underneath me. We can make it, you know, a darker red. We can make it black. We can make it literally whatever color you guys wanna make it. So, you know, I kinda of like me some navy blue or something like that. So we'll, we'll do that here. Let's go ahead and get us a, a nice, not quite navy blue, let's get us some like Sanic the Hedgehog blue or something like that, you know? Um, and then let's go ahead and do that. And now if you wanna just get really precise, you know, maybe you couldn't quite find the exact color you wanted there, you can play around with this right here. You can adjust the saturation, you can adjust the brightness of your color, and this is going to affect, you know, the color that you've got. And you can watch this update here as we're, as we're changing things very slightly, um, just little things that you can do to tweak this as you're, uh, as you're playing around with that. But for the most part, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and select what color you're wanting here. This is where you're gonna make the biggest changes as fastly as possible. So again, now you can make this whatever you want right here. Um, you can still go ahead and click done. You can still move this around if you wanna, you know, like I said, set this kind of an offset. Whatever your style is, now you've got something that is gonna stand out quite a bit more um, to me than just a regular degular square webcam with one of the, you know, Streamlabs overlays that we've all seen a million times before. Nothing wrong with them, they're great, especially if you're just getting started out. And this is by no means, you know, a super, high production value um, thing right here. But to me, I, I think that this is something that not a lot of people are doing. And so it's a quick way to make your stream stand out, maybe make your thumbnail stand out a little bit more on the browsing part of Twitch when somebody's scrolling through all the different live streams, they're gonna say, oh, hey, you know, this this looks interesting. This looks different. It's, it's catching my eyes. You know, our brains are trained to go to that type of stuff. So feel free to check that out um, again. Check out my Twitch live stream. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always trying different stuff, so maybe you'll even get some ideas um, for, for some things you may want to try on your streams. Maybe I will concoct some new ideas and things like that. Um, but in the meantime, um, feel free to join my Discord server as well. Um, check out the download for the image mask. But again, it's a pretty simple concept. If you want to make your own, uh, make a different shape. You want to make like a hexagon, a star, a triangle, whatever. Um, Luminati. I mean, hey, you know, the sky's the limit for you, bud. You can do whatever you want with that. Very simple concept. But like I said, if you, you're lazy like me and you just want to download that exact one, then go right there and uh, there will be a link to do that. But other than that, follow me on the Twitter, the Instagram, the Facebook, all that stuff. Um, and other than that, guys, feel free to leave comments below if there are other programs that you guys would like some tutorials on or some other things that you would like tutorials on, either as far as video editing, some quick graphic design stuff, um, you know, stream editing and things of that nature. I'm more than happy to help out with that. You know, I, I'm, I really love that type of stuff. So just let me know. Um, if you guys have any other questions, reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help. But other than that, um, I do want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a nice day and goodbye.